Guys, welcome back to another episode. We are heading up to a mountain lake. If it's accessible, it might be really snowy to go fishing for trout up there, but we are doing something totally new in this video. We're gonna attempt something that I've never done before. We're gonna take Bobber fishing with us. And I have no idea how this is gonna go, but we're gonna try and go trout fishing together. And he's gonna try and eat my hat. Oh, and he's trying to eat the GoPro. Uh, but I gotta show you guys something. Over the last few days, a whole bunch of cows came down the mountain to the farm here. Look at them all. Look at that guy right there. The goats have been like really, really curious about uh, the cows there. There's probably like a hundred of them that hang out here in the valley. I even have some security camera footage of one of the cows coming like through my garden uh, last night. Bullet, leave sister alone. All right, chicken needs a little butt scratch. <laughs> Bullet, what are you doing to sister? No, unbelievable, little boy. Bullet is just absolutely obsessed with one of the sisters lately. It's, it's pretty funny, he's a naughty little boy. Oh, a lot of you guys have been asking in the comments, by the way, about pond update. It's a total mess down here, guys. The, uh, the, the plastic, the pond plastic is showing. I gotta bring in some more uh, rock. Over the summer, there was just so much algae growing in there all the time, especially with the ducks pooping in there and stuff. So this here is just an experiment for a way bigger pond build out here at the property. Whew, trout pond, baby. Shh, don't tell anyone, though. The goal is to take all of the goats up on mountain fishing adventures uh, together, but you can tell Bobber is the one that sticks around uh, the most. So uh, since this is the first time doing this, we're just going to focus on uh, Bobber, see how it goes, and then we'll just kind of work up from there. Oh, mister. Rainbow, I know. I'll bring you guys a little treat. Come here, Bobber. Let's go. That's a good boy right there. A really good boy. Let me just grab a little snack for uh, the other goats. That way they got something to munch on while we're gone. There we go. Don't worry, Bobber, there's plenty for you in the truck. Bobber, come on this way. All right, let's do what we practiced here, mister. Make us all proud. Look at this, I got a couple little treats in my pocket here that we're gonna just kind of use to, remember, we're still training him. You know, I just wanna make sure that he's super comfortable riding in the truck together. Oh, come on. Come on, Bobber. There we go, good boy. My goodness, Bobber. There we are. <laughs> you ready for this, mister? Dude, this is gonna be wild. We're fishing with Bobber. Bobber fishing. Just one more little treat. There we go. All right, let's do this. You ready for this big man? Hmm? <laughs> He's so excited. You can just see it in his eyes. His eyes are big and wide. All right, let's do this. All right, you guys. I know, Bullet is calling for his brother. All right, Bobber, say goodbye to Bullet. We'll see you guys in a little bit. I, I don't know about you guys, but I think Bobber looks stoked to be out here. So I think he's gonna be really happy once we get uh, up to the lake. Can't wait to uh, get there. I've never been at this lake here either, so this is like just new all around. I don't even know if there's fish in this lake. I sure hope there are, I think there are. I brought all the catch and cook gear along, so, you know, if we catch us a trout, we're gonna cook them up. Someone with a horse trailer right there. It's probably not a bad idea, but I mean, they could just have the horses in the truck with them, like Bobber, that'd be all right, right? Don't worry, Bobber, we're not gonna put you in a horse trailer. You'll always ride in the truck with me. Don't you worry, big man. <laughs> I know, I know. We're almost there, Bobber. I think he's starting to get really comfortable. We're out on the highway now. No more cars and everything, so he's just chilling back there now, eating a little bit of that alfalfa. And uh, I think he's got some toothpaste in the door there. I hope he doesn't get into that. <laughs> <laughs> We are 
here. Bobber, what do you think, mister? It's a winter wonderland out here. Just look at it, it's all snowed in. The forest out here is just beautiful. We're higher up in the mountains, that's why it's snowy here. Oh, steep hill here, it's covered in ice. Oh my goodness, I am like on the brakes, but look at this, we're still sliding. Like I'm fully, I mean, I am braking, so we gotta gently ease off. Man, this hill here, guys, is gonna give us like a run for our money. What do you think, Bobber? We got this icy hill? You think we got this? All right, we're in four by. Let's give this another try. Ooh, Bobber, this is a wild icy hill, but here we go. <laughs> Going up. All right, ooh, man, coming down is gonna be That'll be the fun one, huh? Woo, Bobber, it's smelly here. We had a little a little accident uh, in the truck. Oh, oh he's, he's pooping. It's all right. Bobber, it'll stay between you and me. I won't tell anyone. I know it's very embarrassing what happened. Oh my goodness. I know, Bobber, that's not good. Uh, I think the lake is frozen. I have no idea how thick the ice is down there. I didn't expect it to be frozen. Hmm, let's go investigate. Come on, mister. Oh, I know. Come on. There we go. It's nice to get out of the truck, huh? He did really good, he did really good. The only thing he didn't like was uh, like cars and trucks um, coming by because it was just kind of loud and it made him jump a little bit, but the driving itself really didn't bother him, especially once we got out here onto the, the highway with no other traffic. I'm gonna bring the leash along just in case, but he's doing really good right now. That's the thing about Bobber is he just sticks around. Man, well, so much for using the bullet lure down there. <laughs> Come on, Bobber, let's go. This place is beautiful. It's a small mountain lake surrounded by some jagged cliffs up there in the middle of a frozen forest. But the lake is frozen as well. And I did not bring any ice fishing gear whatsoever. I don't even know if the ice is safe. Bobber's already perfectly at home here. Man, look at this place. It's one thing about a forest like this in the winter time when it's all covered in snow is it's completely silent. All I hear is a few crows, a couple of little birds, <laughs> and our little man bobber here, of course. Some of you guys ask in the comments uh, why he wears a bell. It's so that I can hear uh, where not just he is, but the whole herd because they always stick together. And at the farm, they essentially free roam uh, a very large area and that way I can kind of keep track of where they're at at all times because I can't see them but I can always hear them. Uh, it's just kind of to keep things safe. Bells also tend to scare off predators like bears and coyotes, mountain lions, I don't know, maybe it might be a dinner bell uh, to them. <laughs> oh man, I'm not necessarily keen on going out there if I don't know how solid it is. I'm right on the border. Nah, Bobber, you stay back. I don't want you going out on the ice, mister. I don't want you going out on the ice. No, 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 no. Come on, mister. Not until we know it's safe. There we go. We're just gonna tie him to this tree here for right now. There we go. You stay here for one second, mister. If I go through, you better call for help, though. 
Okay, I don't have uh, my uh, ice auger drill. I, man, I haven't ice fished in so long. I can't wait, guys, ice fishing. Man, I guess it's here. I guess it's here. Another week for sure, and this year should be safe, but we'll find out if it's how thick the ice is now. I'm just gonna try and hack my way into the ice and uh, see, well, if it can carry us. I have no idea how solid this ice here is. Ooh, there's definitely moisture coming through there. It's kind of mushy, guys. I'm not liking that. Not liking that at all. Uh, sometimes it's like that around shore, though. So maybe if we just go a little. I mean, it's thick, but it's super wet. What is this? Oh, man. Be so much better with a little ice scoop. Ooh, there we go, just got through. Uh. All right, I grabbed the uh, pole real quick and extended Bobber's leash a little bit. I'm still not uh, comfortable bringing him down here on the ice, so he's gonna have to chill up there for just a second. He, don't worry, he's being dramatic right now. He's just kind of calling for me, telling me to come back. So I was able to get through the ice. It's probably about this thick, which would be good if it were super solid ice. I'm just uh, not 100% sure about what we're on. All right, so. Oh man. Ah, ah man. Oh man, an ice scoop would be amazing right now, huh? All right, okay. It's about that thick, you guys. And it's not the most solid ice. So I don't, uh, oh man, I don't have my picks with me either. So I'm really not that comfortable uh, going out very far. Let's see how deep it is right here. Let's just send that bullet lure down. I doubt, I mean, we're not out very far. So I really don't think that it's that deep. Be right there, Bobber. That's the bottom right there. It's about five feet deep right there, guys. Oh, he needs a little belly rub. Oh yeah, look at that tail go. Look at him. <laughs> oh man, okay. Why did I think of snow, but not of ice? Hmm, I guess that's just how it goes. Beginning of the season. I'm just curious what he wants to do with the ice there. Yeah, he wants to go explore. <laughs> go on the ice. Oh, wow. He's eating like the leftover like reed grass. And you think about that. That's exotic food right there. Water grasses for goats. Mm. Okay, so since I'm absolutely not prepared for ice fishing, uh, here's what I came up with. We're going to try and use the bobber rod in one hole right here. A shallow hole and we're just going to set our uh, bobber stop super super shallow um, so that we're fishing just kind of like right underneath the ice and we're going to throw a little piece of power bait on there that's all i've got i wish i had worms because they would sink and are super effective in the ice but you know what sometimes you just got to work with what you got all right let's go ahead <laughs> oh bobber no i don't think you want to eat this stuff What are you doing, mister? What are you doing? God, no. Bobber, you can't eat the power bait. No. The trout should be interested in this. I know, Bobber. I know. Okay, and we're just going to go ahead and uh, set this guy up down here as like a fish trap. So the power bait's going to float, but those little weights on the bobber fishing setup will pull it down a bit. 
There you go. Now that power bait is probably about six inches to 10 inches under the surface of the ice. We're gonna give this a little bit of slack here. I kind of want a fish to be able to take off with this for a bit, give him time to swallow the bait. I don't know if this is gonna work, guys. This is really weird. I, don't, I just don't wanna go a whole lot further out. There look to be some wet spots there. The ice is definitely uh, thick, but what probably happened was it froze and then it warmed up again. We've had kind of a weird warm week here. Here, we're just gonna do another hole. Uh, pretty much right next to the other one. We're not going to go out any further. It'll probably be about six feet deep uh, Right here and we can just kind of fish it with the tip of the rod while we stick uh, closer to shore Oh wow that knife just went like right in there. That's really weird Just kind of watching the bobber there as well while we dig the second hole ah. Oh man, that's cold. That is so cold Ooh. Fingers going numb, but the ice is definitely thicker uh, out here. So I, oh, the bobber's down. Bobber's down, bobber down, bobber down, bobber down. Bobber down. Oh, 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 we had one. I saw him down there too, I saw it. That was some big fish. It was huge, guys. I, I mean, I'd be worried that it wouldn't fit through the hole. What just happened? The, the drag wasn't set, so I didn't get a good hook set at all. Bobber, what was that? Bobber, Bobber, it's okay. We, we've, there's fish here. Guys, my, my heart's racing right now. My heart's racing. I don't know if it's from digging that ice hole or if it's from bobber fishing in this frozen mountain lake in just a few feet of water right there. Come on, baby. Come on. That bobber was down all the way, guys. And then I saw something down there. I saw like, uh, it almost looked like a giant brook trout. The tips of the fins had white uh, stripes in the front, which would be indicative of uh, it being in the char family. Uh, could be a lake trout, could be a brook. I mean, it, it looked like this big, guys. It looked like a monster. Like, I'm a little worried that like the whole, we might, oh man, okay. Well, let's cross that bridge when we get there. Okay, I'm gonna need you to keep an eye on that bobber there. And uh, what we'll do is I've got the bullet lure on this one here, and we're just gonna jig it in that other ice hole Right over here. No way, did I just have a... I think I just had a bite already on the bullet lure. Man, what's crazy is I just bought a bunch of... Oh, oh! Good bite, good bite, good bite. Uh, I just bought a bunch of ice jigs uh, at the store here just the other day. But unfortunately, I, I took them out of the truck, literally down uh, right before I loaded up Bobber. I, uh, you can't bite that. All I'm doing is just some small jigs with that bullet lure here. Watching that Bobber there too. But man, we really have to trust like the stuff that we've got here because we don't have a whole lot of options. We could maybe put a fly on here instead of the bullet lure. Fish on, baby, fish on. Oh! Open oh, monster brookie, baby! Monster brookie! Tangled up, tangled up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, it's a total mess. He's totally tangled up in the in the bobber rod. Oh, whoa! Oh, PB Brookie, baby! PB! Oh my goodness! Oh, his tail is all messed up. What a beautiful Brookie. Look at this guy here. It's a big uh, male. Uh, you can tell right there by that white uh, part on the front of the fins. That's how you can tell it's a, a brook trout or in the char family. That's what I saw in that hole earlier, what came and ate that power bait. <sighs> there we go. Put that guy uh, to sleep right away. We're gonna eat him. Uh, out here, that's gonna make a wonderful meal for us. Well, probably for me, I don't think Bobber <laughs> wants to eat the brook trout. What do you think, mister? What do you think? <laughs> He's shaking his head. <laughs> Let's go, baby, man. First trout out of the ice, first fish out of the ice uh, for the year. All right, baby, thank you so much. <sighs> gonna provide an awesome meal for us out here. Whew. Just put him right there in the snow, you'll stay nice and fresh. Ooh, man, look at that. Maybe what I need to do for the goats for ice fishing is bring like a big dog bed or something out there so that they can just kind of chill 
What do you guys do with your goats when you go out on the ice? I'm curious, just drop it in the comments below. There we go. What do you think about this, mister? Oh yeah. <laughs> there you go, little man. Bon appetit. Man, guys, this is why ice fishing poles are so short. It's really hard with a long rod to get it in the hole. There we go. Oh, nope. There we are. Okay, perfect. All right, and while that bobber uh, is going there, we're just going to get right back to the bullet lure, and uh, man, we're just switching holes here. This time we're going to put it in this hole. There we go. Oh, did I just see something snap at it the moment it went in? Oh, I think there's something down there. Going for it. Tell you what, I can't resist. Here, I'm just going to try and like sight fish him. Got that bullet lure just right there. Right there at the surface. We're just sight fishing for him right here in this hole. And then bobber right over there. We got to keep our eye on that bobber as well. And that bobber over there, he's just snacking. You can see when we jig that lure, that that blade just kind of spins around and flashes, sends little flashes of light through the water and the trout can see that from far away. And then if they come close, they'll be able to take a good look at it and hopefully they'll want to eat it. Oh, there's one, there's one, there's one. Did you, oh, do you see that trout? Do you see him? Yeah, let's see if he comes right to the surface. Did you see that? Giant brookie, giant brookie. Come on, baby. Come on back. I know you're still here. I know you're here. That trout is probably circling us. My gosh, my stomach is growling. I'm really hungry. I want to eat that trout, but I can't stop fishing right now. That was so crazy seeing that big one just come by, knowing there's a monster in here. Hey, Bobber, Bobber, hey. No, mister, you gotta stay here. Oh, we can't have Bobber walk off too far because there are wolves uh, in this area here. Lots of them, actually. I'm sure they're watching us right now already. Mister, there's wolves in this area. You can't go wandering off by yourself, okay? You gotta stay with us. He's just not a very big goat, so I don't. he wouldn't be able to fight off a pack of wolves or a bear. What do you think, Bobber? You versus a bear? <laughs> Oh, the bobber's down! Bobber down, bobber down, bobber down! Bobber, you stay here! Bobber down! Oh, he's pulling the rod! Pulling the rod! Oh, there we go! Fish on, baby! Fish on! Good one! Good one! Go! Oh, the monster! Monster! Even bigger, Brookie! Even bigger, Brookie! Bigger than the first one! <laughs> bobber, look at this! Dude! Dude! Hooked right there in the lip! What a gorgeous, gorgeous big brook trout! Oh wow, it's a female. She's spilling eggs all over the place. Look at this beauty right there. This here's definitely, definitely my PB uh, brook trot right there. Oh man, this fish is absolutely beautiful. And uh, oh man, look at that, there's eggs, fresh trout eggs. Mmm, mmm, oh, there we go. Just went ahead and put her uh, right to sleep, two fish is all we're gonna keep here. Those two trout are gonna keep me plenty fed uh, up at the farm. Now we're gonna try a type of uh, stove that I've never used before. It's a little fold out uh, stove that uses solid fuel. These right here are hexamine uh, tablets. It's essentially, I think what like the military used to use. Oh, there we go. That was, this little tablet here was happy to see us. So what you do is you just set a couple of these little tablets right there in the center right there and uh then all you do is light those babies up set your pot on top and uh there you go and you can adjust this guy for uh larger pots or for smaller pots first time using this guy so let's just see how this works out sure uh, if this stove here is going to want to melt the snow underneath it so we're just going to set it on top of the tackle box there there we 
go. Just gonna take our water. Set that right on top. All right, we're just gonna take a little piece of meat off of, uh, so we'll take it off of the first one that we caught. This beautiful male brook trout right there. Oh man, guys, just wait till you see the color of this meat here. It's beautiful, like a salmon. Man, guys, look at this. We caught us a mountain lake salmon up here. The color of this red, or this meat is just so red. Little freeze dried mountain house meal with us. The adventure meal, lasagna with meat sauce. So we're just gonna have that with our trout. Kinda just really hungry. I haven't had anything since breakfast and it's already starting to get dark. <laughs> and whoa, 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 watch out there, little man. That's a hot boiling pot of water. Yeah, it's definitely starting to boil there. With the three tablets, that went really quick. That was maybe uh, five minutes or something till the water started boiling. Ooh, almost forgot to pull this little guy out. Look at that in there. Mmm. Wonder what they taste like dry. Mmm. Ooh, yeah. Just gonna stir that real quick. Oh, guys, the smell of that is just fantastic right now. I'm just, I'm just, my mouth is watering. I'm so hungry. Oh, yes. Okay. I'll set that aside and let that uh, steam in there for one second. Ooh, a little bit of coffee <laughs> with the leftover water there. Why not? Oh, it smells amazing. We're going to let that cool for one second. <laughs> Look at that. I melted that tackle box so bad. So bad. Oh no. That was a really bad idea. I don't know why I didn't think about that. Mmm, man. Here, I'm gonna try and hard pack an area real good. There we are. Ooh, yeah. Melt that butter in there. I'm just gonna sneak in one more hexamine tab. Let's get that trout in there. Whew. The color of that meat is just crazy. We're gonna go skin side down uh, first, right there. That trout is curling in that pan. And the only thing that we're gonna season it with is just a little bit of our Danish sea salt straight from the Baltic Sea into our pan. You want some Danish sea salt, Bobber? <laughs> the Danish sea salt is even goat approved. Goats love uh, salt, they actually need uh, lots of extra minerals and stuff. They crave it. <sighs> Sip of coffee. Cheers, guys, to an awesome day of fishing. What a crazy, crazy day. Oh, yeah. That's a good cup of coffee. You want to try it? No? Man, it's so curled. I got to kind of cut it in half so it cooks evenly. All right, let's see how our uh, adventure meal is looking here. Our lasagna, ooh, steamy, steamy. Look at that. What do you think about that smell? <laughs> All right, look at that. Look at that hot, steamy lasagna bite. Mm. Oh, it's my lasagna. What are you doing? I dig into this trout here. I'm super excited to try that out. <laughs> Dude, this is this is fish. I don't really don't think you want to eat fish. Do goats eat like I've seen videos of deer like eating like a snake or something. Like I think every once in a while ruminants, which is like horses, cows, goats, deer, elk and stuff, they they do eat meat every once in a while. It's really weird. They like crave it if they have like a weird deficiency or something. So if he wants it, he's more than welcome to try a bite, but I, I don't think he wants to. Mmm. 
Oh, that trout is good. The meat is super firm. Check it out. The meat here just flakes apart beautifully. It's super, super firm and maintained its nice salmon color. Look at that, he's, he's really curious. Oh, weird, look at that. I don't know, do you wanna try a little tiny piece? He might be craving the salt, the Danish sea salt <laughs> that's on the trout. I don't think he actually wants to eat the, the fish. Mm. Super flavorful, that's a delicious, a delicious trout. I'm so glad that we got two of those. One for here, one for the next couple of days at home. That's what it's all about, just kind of, man, coming out here and harvesting your own food. It's really satisfying. <laughs> Coffee, nice and warm again. Ah. Good job, big man. Very good job. I'm very proud of this little boy right here. He did good. Oh, Bobber, oh, he stepped right on the trout. Now, let's see how big the large uh, brookie is. So from the net to right here is 18 inches. It's about, she is just over 16 inches, like 16 and a quarter inch brookie. Both of them PBs uh, for sure for me. So man, happy day. Oh, Bobber's cleaning up his, his uh, rest of his dinner. Come on, mister. Are you just all of a sudden now you're hungry for seconds? <laughs> Dude, you've pretty much eaten it all. There's not a whole lot more left. All right, mountain fishing with the goats was a success. And that was only a trial run. Uh, so you know what that means. Lots of mountain adventures up at the mountain lakes. I'll be taking the goats out on all kinds of cool mountain fishing uh, adventures. So of course, if you're still brand new, uh, just feel free to subscribe that way you don't miss those adventures coming up. Oh man, plus lots of ice fishing this winter, baby. Whew. Our fresh trout catch. Look at that. There we go. That's a good boy. Whew. Getting chilly out there, guys. And oh man. Last day probably, I'll probably shave it tomorrow. No shave November is over, we're well into December now. All right, what do you think, mister? Time to go home? <laughs> I think so, that's all I got for you guys. All right, in this one, we're gonna like, comment, subscribe. I'll see all you guys in the comment section and uh, very soon for the next fishing adventure. And until then, you all know it, fish on, baby. Bobber, what are you doing up there? Come on, mister. I know, come on, come on. Look, it's all your friends. <laughs> Come on, Barbara. Rainbow. Hey. Come on, Barbara. Come on. Rainbow, I know. Come on. Come on in. You're not going anywhere. You'll come next time. job today Bauer. Time for bed mister. Thank you for coming fishing with me today. Come yeah, on into bed. Everyone in the bed. There we go.